Alright guys, so it's finally time to work with this. Um, I know it's been a while, but I finally have a little bit of free time that I can put into doing what I wanted to with this. So first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to take the grinder to save a little bit of time and grind this ring off. Um, I don't want any cold shuts in it, so I'm just going to grind that off. We'll throw it into the fire and uh, we'll get working on what I want to make out of it. Alright guys, so we're just going to start by rounding up the square part. that in half and then we'll continue drawing those out.
having it in the round part of the swage block not to distort the, as not to distort the top of it, but we want the bottom flat. have the right kind of tongs to hold this. There you go. Now we're going to work on the claw portions. And, uh, well, let me look at a picture. We may put some eyes on there. Not really any defining features, so we're just going to flatten the part out for the claw. cut out we'll clean them up a little bit with a, a, a file I was having a brain fart I want to knock the edges down this one's pretty good but I want to do this one and make them look a little more round dots almost right on top of their heads so we're just going to put two center punches there for those that'll hold it pretty good we're going to forge this to a little bit of a point and then we'll work on rolling that over We're 
going to throw it back in the fire and tighten the wood down a little bit better. We're trying not to distort the screws. There it is. I'll get it wire brushed, the claws filed, and I'll come back to you. I'm going to put a clear coat on it, and uh, we'll be all done. All right, guys. Well, here it is. All finished up. Um, it sets really good by itself. Let me move it. It's really good by itself. I mean, it's got decent balance. My anvil isn't perfectly. It's got a little bit of a sway in it, but... There it is. You can see the two little eyes, the claws. But um, nothing real special, guys. But when when I saw when I opened up the box and seen these, this was the first thing that crossed my mind: a little paperweight or desk ornament of a scorpion. And I know it don't have the legs and stuff like that, but I just wanted to make it out of solely what it was originally made out made of so exploring Alabama this one is going to be sent to you I do have four other ones if anybody's interested in them let me know I'll make a couple for sale but this one I'm gonna send back to you exploring Alabama and uh, I hope you like it thanks again for sending these to me I love getting weird neat little things like this and uh, here you go I hope you all enjoyed this one. Um, sorry it took me so long to get out, but it's life. Y'all have a blessed day, and I'll catch you on the next one.